The Overlord is one of Ninjago's most generic, but still somehow cool villains. He's been around for a while, and was the main villain of not just one, but two seasons. Because he's still alive, a lot of fans want him to return, but I disagree. This character shouldn't come back, and here's why. Hey, welcome back for a new video. We're discussing why the Overlord shouldn't come back. So this character, he's very generic. A growing number of people seem to dislike him nowadays. I think he's fine. He's not the most well-written or creative, but he's cool. He's got a great voice. He's got some interesting plans in the show. And it was a good idea to bring him back and reboot it. In season two, we don't see enough of him. So season three brings him back, great. But nowadays we're talking about his second return and third appearance. And that's a different story. Let me explain the differences between his first return and a possible second return. In season two, he only takes the lead in the final two episodes before being defeated quickly. So while he is the final villain of season two, he isn't the villain we see the most of. That would be Garbodon. But if we're talking a second return, what more is there to explore? What else do we have to learn about the Overlord? Also in season three, the Overlord had only been defeated once, but now he's been defeated twice and defeated in ridiculous and plot convenient ways. I love Zayn's death and the final battle is good, but you can't deny how much plot convenience there is. Especially in the case of Zayn's death, it makes zero sense how he was able to defeat the Overlord, who pretty much had god powers. Both of these defeats make the Overlord look really pathetic. Is this really a character we want back? Someone who got defeated twice in very quick ways, despite being super powerful both times, I don't really feel like the stakes would be very high if he came back. But that's not even my main reason. The Overlord just isn't interesting enough to be the center of yet another season. Again, season three worked because we hadn't seen much of him, but at the end of the day, the Overlord is cool, not interesting. In contrast, a character like Garbodon has already returned once, but I think he definitely could return again because he's interesting. He could develop as a character. An ultimate evil character like the Overlord doesn't develop. They're just there to oppose the ninja. A returning overlord would be very boring. In fact, I would be really disappointed if he ended up being the series' final antagonist. If they want to make a new overlord omega type character, that's fine. I think the concept is fine. It's just that this specific character has already came back. And there are so many characters I'd much rather see back in Ninjago than the Overlord. For example, Klaus, the Time Twins, as I said, Garbodon. The Overlord has had his time, and I don't think third time would be the charm here. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, share your thoughts. Do you guys think the Overlord should come back? Let me know down below, and I'll see you guys next time.